Brands. I'm uh, I'm out here in this place, and I just wanted to show y'all where Riley's new dealership is. So I'll put it in the thing. It's, it's not it's not done yet, right? It's almost done. But I figured I'd just show y'all anyway. It's down this road. This uh, used to be like a dirty, really bad asphalt road, but now it, it got done nice, which is nice because who wants to drive down a garbage asphalt road with potholes and freaking rocks everywhere to go to a bike dealership? Not ideal, but uh, it's nice now, as you can tell. <laughs> anyway, this is down this road a little ways. We're on the, the 36, this is a bike that y'all haven't got to see yet because, unless you follow my Instagram. Because uh, the one video I made for y'all, it went yellow and I could never get it to go green. I just didn't post it. It's on Patreon, but you know, it's not, it's not out here. But anyway, this is the new bike. Hopefully this video is green. It should be. I'm not going to do anything. I got a subject to talk about. All right, where's the entrance? Okay, here it is. So, do you see this frame thing? That eventually will be the sign, right? It'll say Riley's Power Sport in one of those squares. And this is eventually going to get concreted in. It's been raining a lot in Texas, so as you can see, it's it's wet. Anyway, there we are. So, from that water drain, basically, there's a wall. That way is all Riley's new building. We went, went from having, like, no space to a lot of space. So, yeah. There's a lot of people here doing things. Getting it all done. Why are you... I just want to show y'all. So, like, this is going to be... This will be shut, right? And this will be, like, the main area or whatever. Like the desk, you know, and the lounge. So we're gonna have like a cool place to hang out for the most part. But yeah, I think they're doing tile or whatever. So they got the hangers in and then the, uh, the offices and stuff are back here. And then all the bikes will be out here. Pretty exciting, right? Ooh, look at the dirty six though. <laughs> I uh, just got the big rotor kit and the handbrake and all the stuff to finish it. She's a clapper, right? But she runs good. And that's all we care about. Street kill boy, look at the sticker boy. Anyway, yeah, so this is the new dealership. Uh, Rinden, put it in where it is. I'm not sure when it'll be open, but when it is, it's going to be sweet. We'll have, you know, meets here and bike nights and events and whatever. Hang out, lounge. But yeah, this is where it is. And this is it before it's done. A little sneak peek, Bray. Sneak peek. Okay, so I'm going to blur all this out. And then Rinden will probably edit it to let y'all read it yourselves. But basically, this is uh, one of the admins for this page on uh, Facebook. The Spiker page. And there's a lot of heated debate in there on me. And I just thought it was hilarious. So I'm just going to read some of this one. Uh, but yeah... Where is it? Hold on, I gotta find it. Oh, this page is keeping <laughs> the video of the mentally challenged rider off our page for multiple reasons. <laughs> uh, one, this brings more heat to riders, more cops looking for to bust riders. Okay, that's that's any bike that speeds past a cop. The cop's gonna tell all his cop buddies, and they're gonna be pissed about it. It doesn't have to be a video on the internet about that. With more heat we see more or we see LEOs infiltrating the group page. I'm assuming he just means cops like sneaky trying to read which if if you're hating on somebody for breaking the law and getting all this attention then why are you worried about cops infiltrating y'all's page? If y'all are such good law abiding citizens written in's gonna blur all this stuff out. And, uh, yeah, y'all can read it all. Just go ahead and show them, Rendon.
So I'm not sure what made the final cut, but there's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, I just want to talk about, like, you know, what I think about all that. And if I think I'm the bad guy or not. Which I definitely am. I'm the bad, bad, bad boy. So, I, I don't... What, what's, what's funny to me, I think, the most about all this is that I didn't do this on, like... I don't know, you know, the Colorado people. I don't know what roads they go to to go fast. Like, everybody knows 635 out here, out in Dallas, right? Everybody knows that. Dead end. I thought this went somewhere. Never. we'll go down it for a second. Everybody, everybody knows that's the spot, right? I don't know what it is in Denver. Now, do I think it's the, do I think it's the run between Colorado Springs all the way to Denver? Do I think, I highly doubt a bunch of the bikers be like, yeah, it's the weekend. Let's all go make this very long ride and go very fast. I highly doubt anybody does that. No, nobody's going to do that because there's always state troopers out there. It's, it's a wonder I didn't see any of them, but, you know, sometimes you can get lucky. But, yeah, like, no one's making that run. So if there's more cops in that area, how does that affect y'all? I'm just curious. And this is this is me talking to the admin of the biker page, right? Because I think that guy's kind of a tool. <laughs> uh, calling me mentally challenged and upset over a little video. It's just kind of funny to me. Like, But, you know, what? how's that going to affect you exactly? Do you go out and make that speed run yourself every day? Because it was Friday at like 3 o'clock in like the afternoon like it's not like y'all are all at work <laughs> all the biker guys are probably at work not that i highly doubt there's a pack of bikers all bummed out because they can't go ride this route and go real fast in the middle of traffic and they're all worried about cops like the cops are going to babysit that road more the road and the times that y'all aren't going to be on it so why do you care? Why does it? Why are you getting your feelings so much about it? It's just weird to me. Like if I went to y'all's local place where 100 percent, this is where everybody goes fast, late at night when there's no traffic, and then I did it late at night, and then that video got it viral, then I'd be like, oh yeah, that's kind of bummy. This is the spot where everybody goes, and here I was showing that you can just rip down it, and there's no traffic and nobody in the way, and everybody's all mad because how? dare I do illegal things, right? And then all the bikers are mad. Man, now you blew the spot. I would understand that, but I didn't blow a spot. I just got a little bit of attention. That's all. Just a smidge of attention. A little too much attention. I got in trouble on YouTube, so... <laughs> Video doesn't even exist on the internet anymore, at least on my side of things. Of course, I'll, I'll probably post it on Patreon, so Patreon brands, the video should be up for y'all. But... Yeah, it's not going to be on YouTube again. Unless I re-edit it. I might re-edit it. Just take out the speedo. Donuts, let's go. Don't do illegal things, kid. Like, that, I guess that's the main thing that I, I want to bring up to, to light. If you're out doing illegal stuff, like, and you don't want cops to notice you, then don't do illegal stuff, kid. <laughs> like, if you're going to ride a cross rocket and ride it fast and it's places you shouldn't, that's not a track or a drag strip then accept the fact that you are the bad guy now. Don't be mad at me because I'm a better bad guy than you. That's basically what I'm saying. Because just because I get a bunch of attention every time I post a video. <laughs> doesn't excuse the fact that you're a bad guy as well. It's just like, it's like... It's like so childish. It's like, but he did it worse than me. And now everybody's looking at me. That's literally what you're saying. You're literally saying that we do illegal stuff, but we're trying to be low key about it. Okay, I don't care because you do illegal stuff too. Why do I care 